Yeah, Oh boys, oh boys, oh boys. Holy shit, what have we here? Holy Bollywood Horror Collection. With six Bollywood horror films called Atma, Purana Mandir, Purana Haveli, Takhana, Verana and Bunch Dravaza. <laughs> yeah. Six film boxed in this uh, very strong uh, hard uh, cover, hard cardboard box, and also we have a booklet written by uh, notes a uh, guy called Tim Paxton, and Tim Paxton also did an introduction in each of every this each every, each film for this. So this is a 80-page booklet uh, containing. A s small history of Bollywood horror, and this hey to me this is very interesting stuff. And I gotta tell you, I didn't read it completely. I still didn't manage to do that, but I started to read this thing, and may I think this was the page that I was left on. So, so nice pictures, and I'm sure this includes very much new information about this. Bollywood horror films and especially the great looking posters. Yeah Yeah Okay, that's the booklet and now let's dig into these films shall we F first first film here is something called Verana Verana vengeance of the vampire uh, This was made in the year 1988 and the duration is 114 minutes so 2 hours and 20 minutes oh boy it, it does take some patience to watch these indian films and <laughs> i pretty much watched them all these films like back to back and uh, to be honest with you i was pretty happy that this uh, this major undertaking is over now so in verana a young girl gets possessed by a vengeful evil wizard who wants to revive this dead relative using this girl and while we wait this resurrection it takes like 20 years then the woman has grown uh, old and then she becomes this lady vampire in the full moon or something and starts to kill horny guys around India. And then they go to this haunted manor and try to rid, get rid of this curse. Yeah. Uh, and it enjoyable Bollywood horror extravaganza from the fabulous Ramsey brothers. I, I forgot to mention, these are very old. Or produced by Tulsi Ramsey, Shine Ramsey, and Deepak Ramsey. I mean the director. And these things were produced by <laughs> a guy called I. <laughs> I really <laughs> can't say this with straight phrase, but the father of this Ramsey family. Yeah, their family. And he was the producer of these films. And it always cracks me up when his name can name comes to the title screen, big as hell. It says. F you Ramsey. I wish I had a picture from that F you Ramsey, but fuck you Ramsey has produced every one of these films, at least the films that were made in the 80s. So, the, this film was pretty serious, about 30 minutes, but then this buffoon guy enters the film, like a, this kind of guy who likes to be like Alf, Alfred Hitchcock and quotes movies and uh, it gets like very silly after that and <laughs> the humor in these things is very bad it's so bad that it's it's funny as it is and yeah you might be thinking is there dance numbers yes there are i think these films have a little less dance numbers than these bollywood films usually have uh, maybe four to five dance numbers and why is this vampire woman she is singing too and Every one of these films is very confusing because they have these like this side plot lines, side quests, if you will. So you you are watching the film and start to think of why why is this even happening in this film? What the fuck does this have to do with the plot of this film? This happens in every fucking film from this box, and I love it. <laughs> and, and hey. 
this Verena film, I was wondering, like my jaw dropped when I was watching this. There's this one scene where this guy goes to the some sort of warehouse district and with flashlight, you know, hey, who is there, who is there? And for some reason, some reason, they have edited in scenes from John Carpenter's The Thing. The scenes from these dogs, you know, biting this kennel fence. This... <laughs> And then there's this scene where the dog turns with bloody mouth and it cuts away just before the Stan Winston robot doll, you know, the face opens up with bloody mess. So I don't understand why they had to use these two pictures in this film. They could have easily done without them. I don't know. But that is the magic of Ramsey Brothers. I would rate this 7 out of 10. Three and a half stars. So this was disc number one, and then to disc number two, we have Burani Haveli, The Monster Wakes. <laughs> and in this film, you know, there's also, in all these films, there's the same mansion. These films have been shot, at least the films that were shot in the 80s and 90s, they are shot in the same exact location. And this, a group of Indian youngsters go to inhabit a haunted mansion that has a dungeon, surprise, surprise, with sealed monster. <laughs> monst this dungeon has the sealed in monster, and also there's in this mansion, there's this statue who moves by itself and kills people. And of course, there's this fat guy who is a prankster and he likes to tell jokes. Even after one of these guys get killed. You know, I don't know, understand why this guy is so fucking cheery even after his friend is hanged from the clock tower i don't know i mean what kind of person would do that and what the fuck is this side story about this local crime boss who looks exactly like this prankster and this prank uh, they think this local crime boss dies but this they force this fat guy to replace him and this leads to, you know, comedic, comedic side, I mean, comedic time, you know, sketches. And you might be thinking, what the hell is that has to do with this film? It doesn't do anything for this film. Like I said, these films have these strange side quests in them. And that is one of them. Truly a very dumb film. Very long and very repetitive. repetitive you know... This scene is happening all over the g again, like, you know, okay, let me tell you an example of this, you know, one scene that might happen in this film, okay, so lady sees something like a ghost in the closet, or that, ah, starts screaming, and then guy comes and, hey, what's, what are you screaming about, and, okay, there's a monster in that closet, okay, let's go see, he opens the closet, and, okay, there's not, nobody there now, so, you must, must have, uh, must have been dreaming, and while all this happening, you know, people are getting killed from left and right, and the ladies see ghosts, and still they stay in that mansion. Why wouldn't they just leave? I don't know. But that's Purani Haveli, and yeah, crazy Indian fun. And yeah, they were singing. They were singing too. Then the third film, Takhama the Dungeon, and this film is, is from year 1989, and this was a surprisingly short. I forgot to mention that this was 146 minutes, this Purana Haveli, uh, and, but this third film, this is only 122 minutes, so it was a very short film. But in Takhana, from 1986, I mean 80, 89, I mean, so another Ramsey Bros film where the group of youngsters, they go to a mansion from some reason or another, and then there's this dungeon, <laughs> surprise, surprise, and then there's this monster in this dun dungeon, and also a treasure in this dungeon. And to be quite honest, uh, these films kind of like mix in my head, uh, because I might be confusing from some other films to another. But as far as I remember, in this film there was this <laughs> two sisters that one of them has this, you know, this necklace which contains half of the treasure st treasure. Uh, map in his necklace in her necklace and then 
20 years later they you know got get separated and then they the youngster said hey we need to find your sister and hey did you know that she has a necklace which contains a treasure map okay oh shit really half of the tre treasure map and then they go look for the sister and then the sister gets killed by this pimp it's a long story <laughs> i don't want to be explaining to now and then they however they find this you know this necklace and then completely forget about this sister it is forgotten then they go find this treasure and instead they find this monster and the monster gets lo uh, loose and people get killed and the characters and motivations in these films are all over the place and and the mansplaining is there and yeah <laughs> these indian films really have a very strange sense of women's rights especially if you compare it to this nowadays because every time there's a woman she is owned by a man if it's his father or boyfriend or future husband she is owned by a man and women in these films they can't do anything by themselves lots of weird and unnecessary blood points and characters and stupid humor <laughs> if you i mean jackie chan the worst of jackie chan humor it makes it this looks like a eddie murphy stand-up gig because I mean Jackie Chan look like a Eddie Murphy stand up gig. It is so childish and stupid humor in this. It be, it become becomes funny. <laughs> and yeah, in the end they find the treasure, but I don't know what happens to the treasure. I don't think they go back to get it. And they just then they just leave. And okay. Moving on to the next film, Purana Mandir, the Haunted Temple from disc four you know <sighs> okay okay this, at this point i was like oh my god what could be happening next in this fucking marathon of indian <laughs> indian horror films and oh my god purana mandir <laughs> okay in this fucking film weird shit start to happen when this hundreds of years of evil lives in this mansion and group of teenagers they go to this mansion old haunted manor to solve the riddle of the family curse of course this has an incredible side side plot in it you know there's there's this fat jokester guy <laughs> i mean no i was confused there, there's this borat looking kickboxing guy who happens to run in this to this uh, local village and then there's this village rapist everybody laughs at him because he raped an old woman why is not he why he is not raping the beautiful young woman <laughs> everybody's laughing at him and then this borat guy this rapist is wanted and this borat guy set this rapist free violently because he wants to collect bounties from this rapist guy very much like in Clint Eastwood's Good, Bad and the Ugly. The basic plotline is very similar. I don't understand what does it this have to do with this, you know, this haunted mansion and this, you know, family motherfucking curse thing. I don't know. I don't know. And in every each of these films where they go to a fucking haunted mansion, I don't understand. Their plan is nothing. They are just, okay, let's go to the mansion and let's do let's let's just be there let the film happen <laughs> they don't have any any plan to do anything they just go there and expect something to happen and something yes something happens monster awakes what not and <laughs> and then i i uh, hey i have to say that these films have pretty good special effects i mean they it's not good by any stretch of imagi imagination but i think these one of most of these makeup effects it, they are very eerie looking yeah ah uh, well, <laughs> two more of these uh atma the ghost and this was kind of refreshing it was made in 2006 and this was directed by this um d back ramsey and this was only 112 minutes and it was nice to see a modern ghost film from India. So the, basically the picture quality is much more better than these previously. Uh, I have to say that 
I know Mondo Macabro has done the best they can do, but these things were very worn out, these films, and probably gonna be destroyed, you know, in a few years, this film material where these 4K scans are done. And really, in the dance sequences, the film is really struggling, you know, <laughs> to keep its color. Some of the scenes, yeah. But this was much later film, better looking film, and in this film there's this ghost who comes to warn this doctor guy and tomorrow you'll be asked to lie in autopsy. You don't you must not lie because then if you do I will I will haunt you, I will make your life a hell. And then the doctor has to lie in he, this autopsy report because this criminal gang they're they are they are blackmailing this doctor to kill his wife if he not he does not lie in this autopsy report and when he does that this this ghost comes to haunt this doctor guy poor doctor guy why why is this why is he harassing this guy he had he really did not have any choice but yeah this ghost also goes killing this criminal gang one by one and yeah <laughs> The, basically, the plot line is there. Um, yeah, there was not not so much crazy, you know, uh, side quests in his side plots. But I have to tell that it was funny as hell to see in the opening scene where this cop character comes to rescue his girlfriend from this criminal gang, other gang. You know, it was unnecessary for the film this scene to happen. But it was shot by such shot copy of hard targets street fighter scene and i was laughing you know and yeah did you <laughs> do you expect me to believe that you didn't see hard target i mean the fight scenes and the you know hand breakings they're all directly lifted from hard target and then banda band dwarza disc 6 and 145 minutes and this film was from year 1990 and I do believe this was the biggest hit of Ramsey Brothers or at least the last of the big hits and yeah it, it's a classic tale very much like it tries to do Christopher Lee impression and this didn't also have too much side quests and let's see my it was okay I think this was the best if you can compare it to best and uh, I think this uh, Frank uh, Dracula ma makeup was pretty pretty eerie and uh, the final fight in this film was i think it was pretty impressive you know they are chasing car with car this you know horseback uh, horse dracula who is on horseback and yeah, it was well executed and nice overall um, but the duration all these films which are over two hours yeah it's long as a famine year but if you set your brain to a you know like bollywood horror horror you know uh, frequency you might actually get enjoyment even from the dance and singing sequences yeah and this disc also contained lots of lots of extras <laughs> uh, interviews from this Ramsey guy, director guy, the youngest guy of the bunch. Uh, I think "fuck you" Ramsey has di died long a, a long time ago. And also there were interviews about the actors, a lady actor, and uh, some sort of film uh, historians who talk about the Bollywood films in general, especially the um, horror genre. So basically, this is pretty, you know, pretty uh, well executed Blu-ray box of Bollywood horror sets, and you know, previously I had these these Bollywood horror collections, which included Bansha Dwarja and Burana Mandir and Verana and uh, and uh, Verana and the uh, Burana Haveli. So basically these previous Mondo Macabro DVDs are now obsolete because this box arrived. Whew. Okay, I'm done with this box. Uh, crazy box. I recommend it. 